Welcome back to Mackenzie Woodworking Essentials for Building a Birdhouse. Here we are. Here's the birdhouse that we'll be building today. And uh, hopefully I can uh, show you some uh, tricks that I've uh, learned along the way about building a good birdhouse. Uh, essential for uh, the birds to nest and uh, raise their youngins. And here it is up on a tree. We mount them on a 2x2 cedar. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Windsor Plywood for supplying the materials in, that we needed and sponsoring us to uh, bring these projects to you. So uh, please visit them. Uh, they've got a great uh, stores in Western Canada and the United States. Uh, they've been in business for over 50 years. So go down and visit the uh, guys down there and they'll help you with all your projects. So here we are, uh, here's a basic uh, drawing that I've done up. Uh, so the back and front elevation, two boards that you'll need, you'll need uh, two that are uh, 12 by 10. And here's the, uh, the gable end that I'm marking out. And you can see I've already cut the roof angles on it and I've cut the peak down an inch and a quarter uh, from the peak so it doesn't go all the way up tight, it comes down an inch and a quarter. And then I've just marked out the sides and they're at a, a 10 degree angle. So we'll take them over to the sliding compound saw and uh, set that up and I'll just double check the angle over there against the saw. And here we are and we've got an angle finder here. And we'll just check our angle here and then we can set up the saw and uh, cut them. And this is good if you're gonna cut a bunch of them. I've built a bunch of these over the years for uh, Cubs and Scouts and Girl Guides can't forget the girl guides uh, they enjoy building these as much and what you can do is you can cut up all the blanks and what we do is we pre-drill the holes and everything and just let the kids put them together uh, they really really enjoy that so here we are I just set up a stop block and then we're going to use the uh, the saw and we'll just cut off the sides and like I said that's at a 10 degree angle and that's basically to keep the uh, water off the side walls then all you have to do is flip it over and put it on your stop block and then chop it there you go so our angles are uh, cut on the sides and the roof's done and the top is cut down an inch and a quarter and before we put it together it's always good to uh, drill your hole on the one end so uh, what will what works for us in this area or the birds that will be going in there uh, depending on the area that you're in but uh, this is an inch and a quarter hole and i'm just using a uh, forcing bit there and we'll uh, cut that through at an inch and a quarter You'll probably notice that my boards are full inch thick, and that's just because of my stock. You don't have to use full um, a three quarter inch board or a five eighths works as well. And what I'm using is cypress and cedar. In the west coast here, uh, we have availability to a lot of cypress. So here's the floor that's going in, and, and it's actually cut a quarter inch smaller than the width at the bottom. If you notice, the, uh, it doesn't come right to the end, and that's done on purpose. Uh, what we want is we want airflow to go in through the bottom. So what I've done is just uh, put in some uh, pins to hold it uh, uh, temporarily while I uh, run some countersunk holes into it. And whenever you're putting cedar together like this, it's uh, always good to uh, countersink your holes. And then you're not going to split anything. And if you're using a uh, one of those impact drills, just make sure that you don't sink the, the, the uh, screw in too tight and split the wood. Just bring it in snug. Uh, whenever we're building anything, we like using these uh, light duty uh, screw guns so that they don't uh, pull in too tight. And like I said, uh, uh, this is a uh, great project for kids and stuff. And what we do is we uh, pre-drill the holes and then we set the screws in just a little bit so they're already in the, in the wood and then they 
just screw, screw them together. So what I've done is just uh, taken a, uh, a one inch by inch and a half uh, spreader piece, the same width as the floor, and just put a couple of uh, brads in it to hold it in place. And that's just to uh, uh, keep it the same width and uh, top and bottom, and then we'll uh, put our sides on. And if you notice the uh, the elevation of the back and the front, the grain is from the bottom to the top. Um, I'm running the, the grain to the top of the birdhouse, vertical grain. It's lucky enough to have really good product for this, and it's nice and clear, but for a birdhouse, it doesn't have to be uh, as good as this. But there it is there. And I just run uh, three screws in the bottom and the top. There's a spreader. And what I've done here is for the side walls, I've just uh, resawed uh, uh, some material a quarter inch wide. It uh, doesn't have to be too heavy. And you notice it comes down three quarters of an inch from the, the top of the wall. It just goes flush with the floors. I'm just making a mark there because I'm going to run some glue on it. And I'm using Type Bond 3. It's an exterior wood glue. And then I'll just put some brads in it. So I'll just run some glue along there and then uh, put our uh, side walls on. And we'll just pin that on with uh, three or four brads. And that'll be enough to uh, hold it on. And the essential finger. It's the same thing. I uh, I try and run all the grains the same way. So if there's any shrinkage or anything, it's going to be you know go along the same way. But the important thing here is not to bring these walls right right to the top. As you can see, I'm down three quarters of an inch. And we'll do the same on the other side here as well. Just put a dab of glue on it. And this is exterior glue, so if it gets wet or anything, it's not going to pop off. Just fasten that with some brads. Then we'll just fit the roof on, and these are just cedar. And uh, one is uh, three quarters of an inch shorter than the other one because we're just going to uh, do a lap joint over the top. We'll just run a bit of glue on that and uh, put a couple of brads in it to hold it together while we uh, countersink some holes into it. And then the roof will just be fastened down with two screws. Uh, on one side and, and you don't want to glue the roof down or use nails or anything because you, you should um, uh, clean the old bird nest out of it every year and get in uh, or if there's any chicks or eggs that didn't survive you're going to want to clean that out as well uh, and basically so you have access to get in and clean it out for the new new bunch that comes in hopefully it's the same family every year coming back this gives you an overall view, and you can see where the uh, the gable end uh, doesn't go all the way to the top, and it's the same on the sides. But there's a um, an overhang on the side, so I have a uh, one inch overhang on the wall, so when the water comes over, it'll uh, drip away from the wall, and you have that ventilation. The all important ventilation. You want the air to go in through the bottom of the birdhouse and sucked in through the, um, the top of the walls and then come out through the gable. And it'll keep the, uh, the bird nests and the birds nice and cool, especially in the hot of the sun, spring and summer. So we're just running some screws in there. So the total screws that I have in this project is only 11 screws. Uh, so if you're going to uh, pre-make these, uh, and you could just uh, pre-start the screws. I'm just 
been showing you here the ventilation so it'll be going falling along the roof and just spilling out over the top there I'm just marking out my perch hole so that comes down an inch and a half from the hole just a view on the inside of it there whatever I put on the roof I'll just put in two screws so it's easy access and the screws I'm using are uh, a porcelain screw so they're not going to rust or anything outside and they work good in the cedar uh, they won't discolor and this uh, cypress and cedar will turn a really nice gray and blend in right with the trees so here we are uh, me and the dog just got, got in from the uh, the field and uh, we have some some pear trees outside so uh, what I've just just cut off some uh, pear limbs and I'll, uh, I'll pick the uh, the perch that suits the birdhouse that I like I want to pick one that looks natural so I'm going to pick one that's going to be sort of a V on it just one that I cut off so we'll just cut that to length and then uh, uh, pre-drill a hole that will suit for it and then we can uh, get it in I like using um, natural limbs instead of just a square piece of dowel. Uh, this is where uh, cubs and have a lot of fun. They'll uh, you go in with a bunch of limbs, and then they can cut the purchase uh, that they want for the birds. The important thing about the uh, the perch as well is whenever you drill the holes and you determine on the size that you you're going to go with, uh, you're going to want to that to go right through to the inside of the birdhouse. It should project project on, on the inside as well, so it it'll come through and on the inside of the birdhouse will be an inch and a half. And that's basically so when the bird's in the house and it, leaves the nest that it's built inside the birdhouse it can land on the perch to get back out the hole as well an awful lot of people has forget that on a birdhouse but you can see there i've uh, trimmed it off and it goes right to the inside i also threw in some straw there to start to give um, mother bird a bit of a head start and then she can pile it up in the corner but you can see the length of that so just goes right through and then I'll put a little bit of glue on that and just one small brad nail just hold it in and you can see it there on the inside so it comes in an inch and a half on the inside as well so that she can jump from the inside through the, the hole and have a perch to land on and you can see through the bottom of the box too uh, that it uh, shines right through we are up on a tree and as you can see I mount the birdhouses to a 2x2 two two with a um, cedar hanger on the bottom and what would you just screw to that and, and then we can move it along easier and what I do is just uh, drill a hole in the top of the 2x2 two two on the top and then uh, hang it on a nail on the, uh, the tree that it's going to be going on and here you, you can see all the ventilation from the bottom to the the top of the walls and here's a better view of the bottom and we just put our for rent sign on it hopefully we can get a, a family that uh, likes the neighborhood and wants to move in and uh, give us hours of enjoyment and watching them going back and forth and like I was saying this is a great project if you're gonna build a bunch of them for a bunch of kids or for your grandkids and children you can just cut up all the blanks and preset the screws so I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if so, please uh, like and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much.